and they're off. Purebred Arabian sprinters over six furlongs, 1,200 meters, and the one who is fly leaping at the start is AJS Hajjaj, who is out of the race. So through the early stages, it is Afandam on the inside who has claimed the early lead. Last year's winner, Marid Al Jazra, is right up there and he's working into the three path. On his shoulder, last year's runner up, AJS Al Arida. Just in behind them is Ayetibar. Out very wide is Abez in what is already a well strung out field. It is Afandam who is out in front. A fandom leads now. Into second is Ayetibar. Around the outside, Marid Al Jazra is racing in third position. AJS Al Arada is racing in fourth. Towards the outside, Habez, a very wide trip, is in fifth position. Makarin made the turn in sixth and is staying on stealing ground to the inside. Hardan is next, followed by Mukabra, and then down the wide outside is Tajamor, and then tailing off is Burke and Zakir together with Nomaz Al Sharja. In Inside the final 150, last year's runner-up, AJS Al Arida. Down the outside, the mare is Makarim. Makarim and AJS Al Arida racing up towards the line. It's the mare, Makarim, who wins the sprint championship. In second was AJS Al Arida, staying on down the wide outside. That was Habez, and to the inside, the long-time leader, Afandem. Here is the full result of race five, the local purebred Arabian Sprint Championship on sand. Run over 1,200 meters on dirt. First number 11, Makarim, ridden by Lucas de Lozier. Second, number two, AJS Al Arida. Third, number four, Habez. Fourth, number one, Afandem. And the fifth horse was number six, Marid Al Jazra. 11, 2, 4, and 11, 2, 4, and 1 were the numbers. The run time, 1 minute, 18.49 seconds. 118.49. Race number 5 is now official. Yeah, another one for Bara Belushi. Here, he, we'll see him very shortly. Here is his horse winning, Makarim, with the uh, combination of the hood and the, the tongue tie. Lucas Delusier on board, the Frenchman, who always seemed happy with where he was traveling, I think, and... Uh, she was pretty straightforward throughout the race, was this daughter of Alam al Khaladia, Saudi uh, bred mare herself. This horse uh, bred over here and bred to win too, having another go on the dirt and scoring. The run on the turf probably didn't quite work out a couple of starts ago. Back on this surface, she has been seen to very best effect. She's got a nice run down the straight, a nice clear run at it, which can be so important. If you lose a rhythm on the dirt, it's very hard to, to pick it up again and to get out and speed up having had your rhythm impacted. But she had a nice rhythm down the wide outside and enough left to score at the finish. We'll do the presentation very shortly. Well, as we await for the presentation party to make its way onto the podium, let's take the opportunity to thank all of our sponsors and partners that are involved throughout the his Highness the Emir Sword Festival between now and the 17th of February. Also take the opportunity to remind you that later on tonight, around about 7 p.m. after all the races have been completed, that there will be a drone show, a fire show, and a laser show that will keep you entertained long into the night. So we encourage you to stay put after the races have been completed and enjoy all of the entertainment that is available to you later on tonight. The first race day, the first of three race days taking place here at the His Highness the Amir Sword Festival. We stand by and await for Makarim to make his way into the winner's circle, as we said, ridden beautifully by Lucas Delosier, trained by Brother Al-Balushi and owned by Mr. Rashid Mohammed al -Khaba. Welcome to them in a few moments' time, and congratulations on an outstanding performance once again here in race five. Five of eight races tonight, still three to come as we look forward to the three following races, three more events still to be competed for, and then as mentioned, that drone show, the fire show, and a laser show to come up later on this evening as we look forward to a wonderful night here in Qatar at His Highness the Amir Sword Festival. We will be heading to the presentation in just a few moments' time for three trophies to be handed out. 
Let's head through to the presentation and congratulate our winners. Mark, thanks. Yeah, I'd like to extend a thank you to the Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club, to their very warm welcome to all competitors here and, and media and press alike. I've certainly felt the, the warm welcome and their chairman is up to make the presentation for race number five. His Excellency Isa bin Mohammed al Muhanadi. Our thanks to him presenting these three awards and he will first of all be presenting to the winning rider. Please welcome Lucas de Luzier. Well done to Lucas, an excellent season for him and for the winning trainer of Makrim, Bade Albalushi. <laughs> and to the winning owner breeder, always important to celebrate the owner breeders. Please welcome to the stage the winning owner of Makrim, Mr. Rashid Mohammed Al Afma. So well done to uh, Rashid, to Lucas and Bad al Belushi. Uh, once again, we could all have the, the photo together, please, with the Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club chairman, His Excellency Isa bin Mohammed al Muhanedi. The winning connections of our fifth race, those of the winning mayor, Makarim. <laughs> 